Hey everybody, welcome to Train Talk. I'm Monty Miller. I'm Rebecca Cowell. And we have got a special treat coming for you out of our Houston office today. Yeah, so we in External Affairs have the opportunity to meet lots and lots of different people throughout the communities in uh, North Texas, Houston, the Brazos Valley, and everywhere in between. And in our time spent in Houston, one of the most interesting people we've had the distinct privilege of coming across is a urban graffiti artist by the name of Gonzo247. Uh, you might be familiar with some of the work that he's done. Have you ever seen the big Houston is inspired mural? I have. It's awesome. It's awesome. He does really cool work, guys. Yeah, so one of, that's an example of some of his work. He uses a lot of big, bright, bold colors with a lot of uh, soft lines that show motion, uh, which we thought would be a really great way to capture the essence of the Texas High Speed Train Project. So look, knowing that Texas Central has a square commitment on focusing on communities that we are in and integrating really well into those networks and the, the makers in each of those communities that make them so vibrant and multicultural and diverse, we wanted to highlight some of the work that, that Gonzo does through, through a mural in our Houston office that we're going to unveil for you guys today. And Rebecca, to do that, we've got a really cool guy in attendance with us today. We have Spencer Whelan. Spencer, say hi to the folks. Hey, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, Spencer, why don't you introduce yourself to the uh, to the Train Talk uh, fans? Well, I don't know about cool guy, but I'll I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll take guy at least. Yeah, um, generic guy. Yeah, I'm yeah, generic, generic guy. guy um, yeah. So my name is Spencer Whelan. I'm a CEO of Proclaim Advocates. I've been working with these guys. You might have seen me on the videos before with my dad for Veterans Day, which um, I must say was one of the most heart heartwarming videos I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, please go you. back and watch it, guys. It's a beautiful pot. It's a beautiful video. Yeah. And, and as I said on that video, and I'll say to you guys, it's been an honor to be working on this project for a while now. I truly, truly believe in this team. I truly believe in this project. Um, I've seen firsthand that this is a group of Texans that are doing some amazing things. And what I, what I was um, impressed by with Gonzo was that it was another group of Texans that are makers, artists that are inspired by this train. And Gonzo really kind of drove that home. Like we, we sat in his studio for the better part of five or six hours, just talking mostly, not, not even on camera, just talking about his philosophy on taking blighted areas of a city and turning it into a piece of art and how he was making the connection in his brain between what he does and turning you know, an area of Houston and revitalizing it with a train station and this amazing moving piece of art that the, the high speed train is going to be. So like that was what was just kind of inspiring to me to see that coming from somebody who's a true, true artist and looking at this highly technical, highly uh, engineered piece of equipment, you know, frankly, and looking at that as a piece of art for the state of Texas. So I was really, um, really honored and inspired to see what he was doing as well. So what were you most impressed with about his style, you know, as someone who got to be there and seeing him put the final touches on his, on his art? Yeah, so what I was impressed by, I think more than anything, was that when you think graffiti art, you think of spray paint with kind of rough edges, right, or, or diffused edges, a lot of, you know, broad strokes or, you know, soft colors and the vibrant colors were there for sure. But what I was really impressed by was the commitment that he made to kind of have an engineered style to the train itself because the train is so engineered. And one of the things that you'll see in the video is he says that he was inspired to be a graffiti artist by the art that he sees on, he saw on trains, you know, mostly in New York in the early eighties when hip hop culture was kind of taking over. Like subway graffiti? Like subway graffiti, exactly. And, and but he was like, now here's a train that is art in and of itself. And so he looked at the, the highly engineered lines of the train and said, well, I'm gonna keep that the way it is and then kind of be impressionist around it. And the entire mural is just absolutely gorgeous because it kind of blends that art and science element of what the train actually is and then put his own spin on it and his own style to it. So it was really impressive to see an artist kind of go through their process. So uh, Spencer, so now we, we know there's a video. So mm -hmm. uh, I assume the video has Gonzo247 himself. Yeah, so basically it's, it's an artist profile. We're, we're doing a maker video because what I know about not just you guys, but everyone who works here is that these people are makers. They're trying to make something out of nothing. And 
that's what Gonzo is doing is he's making something out of nothing. He he's, has an idea and he's creating a piece of art on canvas in many ways. Like we're saying, Hey, we're, we're taking a, a everlasting piece of infrastructure that is, has artistic elements to it, you know, mathematical, scientific engineering elements to it and putting this piece of technology in the state as not just a piece of art to enjoy and look at, but to use and to have part of your everyday life as a Texan. And him being a Texan and wanting to co contribute to his community, I, we saw a lot of parallels there and he was seeing it too. So, Well, I'm really excited to show this video to the, to the folks out there. So um, without further ado, let's, uh, let's check out the video. My name is Gonzo247. I'm an artist, I'm a creative, I'm a Texan. You know, growing up, there, there really wasn't a lot of public art, but there was this one mural called The Rebirth of Our Nationality, and uh, that mural inspired me to think about art. I saw the impact that it made on me on how big this piece of art was, and I was like, one day I would love to paint something that big. I think a defining moment for me was in the early 80s. There was this, this movement of counter culture music called rap. I really felt like that was the music that was made for me. Rap introduced me to the hip hop culture. Graffiti is the visual language of hip hop. And once I connected all the dots and I saw who was creating graffiti at the time. It was people that were my age. They were creating these masterpieces on the side of trains with spray paint. And although I didn't really know much about paintbrushes and other traditional materials, I was very used to working with spray paint, but I never thought of it as a tool to create art. And so once I kind of figured it out, I went to my dad's garage and he had spray paint, so I just started. You know, my inspiration came from art on trains. And then here we have this high-speed train that is art in itself. You know, the design, it's not just beautiful, it's functional. It's funny how, how two different industries uh, talk the same language. Because, you know, for me, you know, my sketch is the blueprint for my art. The train has a blueprint. There's engineers that sat down and figured out this entire thing. So everything's been mapped out. Everything's been worked down to the last you know, screw that goes in, everything's accounted for. And the same thing with me, you know, I, I have to think about, you know, what kind of materials am I gonna use? What kind of paint, you know, what kind of nozzles? And I think the comparison between what I was able to do with graffiti and street art here in the city, and the parallel with, with the high-speed train here is, you know, I, I, I've seen people want to see it happen, but to see that now someone is actually making it happen, that's the big difference. It takes people with that kind of grit and determination to say, I'm gonna see it all the way through the end. Being a maker is, is, part of it is inspired to do it. The other part is having the grit to, to get dirty and, and put in the hard work because the end result is really what makes all the blood, sweat, and tears, makes it worth it. Wow. Wow. Rebecca, all the blood, sweat, and tears makes it worth it. There have been a few of all of those. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, his, um, the theme of being a maker was really, that really touched me because, um, you know, that's what, that's what we're all doing here. We're all coming together as a team to, to make a high speed train in the United States, right here in Texas, the first one of its kind in the history of the entire universe <laughs> so in i Texas. think well in tech well, well I mean, that's the here, this I mean, time this yeah, place universe. that's what it is <laughs> yeah there, there's no in the entire history of the universe not one train has been built in texas high speed <laughs> so uh i think that's a pretty cool pretty cool uh project to be working on what do you think 
I think, you know, what really struck me about the video is how he was talking about how whenever he's he's working on a piece of art and people walk past and see just a small snippet of what the overall <laughs> big picture is and people get confused and don't really know what's going on. It, you know, that really resonates with me. You know, this is such a large project. There's stakeholder relations and public relations and the finance teams and the design teams and the engineering teams and the construction teams and the architecture teams and all of these different work streams that we're all seemingly doing these different different tasks but coming together at the end to have a final product that that is a first of its kind high speed train for Texas. Yeah, and, and he really impressed that upon me too when when he was watching or when when I was watching him work and we were filming it. And by the way, shout out to Eric Stern, who was the videographer on this and working with me. And he did a fantastic Absolutely. job. Absolutely. Eric's awesome. Good job, um, Eric. But, but one of the things you, you see in there is him pulling off the masking to show the front of the train, right? Yeah. There's so many different layers of masking that he had to put on. And when he's you know doing a spray across a mask, you can't tell anything. It just looks like a mess. And he was like, sometimes, you know, have people that are commissioned to do art or I'm, I'm commissioned to do art for them. And they come in and they're like, oh, is this what I'm going to get? And he's like, just wait, when, when it's done, it's done. And when it's done, you'll see what it's like. And the parallels between this project and that are very, very similar because it's really, really hard for those of you out there, you know, we're communications professionals and it's really hard to show you what this is going to be like in Texas, you know, when it's, but when it's finished being built, I mean, you could look at Japan, and see you know the track record and see how great it is to that that culture and that society you can look at taiwan and you can see it but it's going to be different for texas it's the same technology the same safety all those attributes but it's going to be texas style. it's going to be a texas a lot bigger hvac system exactly yeah. <laughs> right it's going to be it's, it's going to be unique to texas and yeah. i think that's a, an important thing for us to understand as we go through this is that there is a there's an end there's an there's an end state that we just can't see. Yeah. But you got to have faith and you got to put faith in people who are doing the hard work and putting that blood, sweat and tears in and have the grit, as he said. And, you know, it's like I've seen you guys have the grit. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's it, it was an honor to, to see it in person. That's great. We know. And especially, you know, his his most famous mural, Houston, is inspired. That's right not only does that inspire me as somebody who's working on a project that's going to be so beneficial both to Houston and North Texas, Brazos Valley, everywhere in between, but the inspiration of, of doing something that is the first of its kind, that is pioneering and leaving a legacy, that, that gets me up in the morning every day. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And if you guys want to see more from uh, Gonzo247, he's at Gonzo247 on Instagram. Can't get any more easier than that. Um, so uh, check it out. Are there any final words, you guys? I would just say if, if this inspired you, if you're an artist or if you're a maker, you know, reach out to us. Reach out to us on social media. Absolutely. Um, if you have any of your art that the train has inspired you to do, send us, send us your information um, and maybe, you know, maybe we'll display it. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Rebecca, anything uh, parting words for all our fans out there? Uh, just that I hope that you guys are as excited as this pro about this project as we are, because I know each and every one of us, not, not just here on camera today with you right now, but all 250 people or so working on this project each and every day, we're, we're doing it for you guys. All right. So uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us, and we'll see you next week.